Cast today, I've got some lovely people from Winfield High School. Um, welcome to the Splash Cast. Can you all in, uh, introduce yourselves? Um, I'm Maddie, and this is a but yeah, hello. there he is. Yeah, I'm here too. <laughs> well, hello, hello. Well, welcome. Um, and I am James Miller, of course. I am the owner and operator of Swim WV. And I wanted to take some time. Um, let's talk about some swimming, shall we? Um, sure. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so first thing is first. Um, let's uh, let's talk about the Winfield team. Like, what are we uh, what are we thinking about? It's it's almost championship time of the year. Um, one of my favorite times of the year. One of my busiest times of the year. Um, it's championship time. What what are we thinking about on the Winfield team, both of you? Well, this year we have a lot bigger team, which is a lot more fun in my opinion. I like having a big team. And for me, I'm really hoping to get our girls relay to state. So that will be Oh, that'd be, that'd be awesome. That's always a good goal. And you know what I just realized, everybody? I forgot to I forgot to have you all introduce yourselves. Could you all say what your names are? Um, my name's Maddie. Uh, my name is Abram. We're both juniors at Winfield High School. Awesome. All right. I, I just realized I forgot to do that. So, um, so yeah, your goal is to, uh, so your goal is to get, get your relays, uh, to States. What about you personally, Maddie? What is, uh, what, what are, what are you trying to do? Because if I'm looking at the top times and you probably know this, or maybe you don't look at the top times, some people, they look at them and look at them all the time. Some people just wait till States to see where they stand. But most of your events, you're like like fourth place uh, on the top times, like you're almost the top time, but not quite. So kind of what what might be your goals for the your individual goals for um, the next couple of weeks? Um, I just am hoping to drop time in my events. I'm not really sure when I'm going to swim at like the championship meets yet, but my goal is basically just to drop time and see how fast I can be. Of course, and the coaches always try to keep that as secret as possible, right? Um, so, um, how, well, how did you get started in swimming? Were you one of those that, like, you saw a poster that said free pizza, or like, what? What was the? Uh, how did you? Uh, how did you start out um, swimming? Because obviously, um, you probably didn't just start out high school year, freshman year, and just say, "Hey, you know, I'm gonna try the swim thing." You obviously probably swam a club team. So, how did you get started? Talk talk about that a little bit. Um, my mom used to swim when she was younger, so when I was seven or eight, she put me in summer league swimming, and I joined a year-round team, I think in third grade, and I've just been on a club team ever since, and then I started high school. Now, was there a moment in time that you were like, you know, I might actually be pretty good at this, like, swimming thing? Um, um not really. I mean, I just do it because I enjoy it. I just like practicing and having a team and making friends through it. So. Oh my gosh. You're like one of those people that um, it's like a coach's dream. You're like, the coach gives you like 3,100s on one minute and you're like, yes, I love this. Um, I mean, <laughs> I probably would be a little intimidated by that, but I guess I just try to do as many as I could. <laughs> Um, and then what about you, Abram? And aren't you, um, if I if I remember correctly, are you um, you have a special relationship to the coaches, correct? Uh, yes, they're they're my parents. <laughs> I can't really get out of practices or anything like that this year. <laughs> so how so how is that? Is it like um, are you like oh my gosh, I love having my parents, or you're like oh my gosh, mom, you're cramping my style because I can't goof around and practice because you're there. Um, talk to me about that a little bit. Well, I don't know. It's it's a little weird having my parents as the coaches because it's just that's really new to me. I've never really experienced that before, but uh, I would say it's not really that bad. 
when it comes time to practice, it really just feels like having some coaches. Now, do we uh, are we at the dinner table and you guys are eating like fried chicken or whatever you guys eat at home, and um, your parents are like, let's talk about let's talk about practice tonight. You didn't really you didn't really swim as hard. Do you, do you have any? Do we ever take home all of the practice stuff or event stuff um, to the to the kitchen table at home? Uh, yeah, sometimes we'll kind of discuss what happened at practice, but nothing ever too in depth like that. Really, just like talking about things we might want to try at next practice something like that well awesome um now for uh, both of you um let's uh let's kind of shift gears um what um obviously we um obviously we swim for hours and hours on end uh, we we all know that um but there's got to be something unique about both of you um that isn't just swimming related because you're uh so tell me something about like talents hidden talents you might have uh maybe interest in things that are not swimming related that uh both of you might have um well i think i'm gonna get guitar lessons yes i'm not i mean i've never played before i used to play piano when i was little but i just want something like I feel like piano was super hard for me. My sister plays piano and she's like 10 times better than I could ever be. So I just wanted to try something that would be, I just feel like it's a good stress reliever maybe. Well, and I love the piano, as you can tell. I have the piano <laughs> piano in the background here. Um, um, but yeah, the guitar you can actually take with you everywhere. Uh, you can't just You can't just pick up a piano, unless you want to play the accordion. I, I could try. I mean, that seems complicated too, but. <laughs> All right. Now, what about you, Avery? What, uh, uh, what's something unique about you that? Um... Uh, well, I'm just going to go with the uh, music answer too. Uh, ever since sixth grade, I've been playing in school bands. It's the uh, saxophone player. So really nothing too special, just saxophones. Now, do you have a um, do you have a favorite? Uh, uh, are are you into like jazz or concert band? Let me ask that question. Uh, well, ever since high school, I've just kind of been doing marching band as my main focus. Uh, I mean, concert band's nice, but it's not the same as going to a competition and getting to see all the other schools there. Well, fun. Um, well, I was going to ask, like, what's your favorite? So, if there's a if there is a saxophone, like a famous saxophone player, or like a famous band or something that you um, um, that you want to strive to be, is there any? Do you have any of those? Uh, yeah, I'd say there's one person that I, if uh, I would strive to be like, it would be Jordan Morris at Winfield High School. Uh, he was he's been in my section since I started high school, and he just kills it on the saxophone. He's really He's really good at it, and I wish I could be a fraction of as good as he can play it. Oh my gosh! Well, I'll tell Jordan he has to come on the splash cast and, <laughs> um, <laughs> and make a make an appearance. All right, now for both of you, um, so you guys are juniors on the team. What do you tell? You said uh, Winfield has um, a lot of newer swimmers, a lot, a lot of swimmers. So what, what you both are juniors, you guys, um, next year is almost your last year swimming. I don't want to uh, ruin it for your parents or you yet. So we'll just pretend I didn't say that it's your last year swimming next year. But what are you telling your other teammates? Um, is there some sort of advice? Is there some sort of wisdom? Are you um, like the jokesters? Are you like the serious people? What a, what, um, tell me like, A, a kind of how is your role in the team? And B, like, what are you telling your team? Um, as we go for the next couple of weeks? I think we do a really good job as a team of encouraging each other and like cheering each other on. And everyone's always super positive at meets and telling each other good luck. And I don't know, I think we just have a good positive environment. What are you, Abram? Uh, well, I really think the same thing. Like. A lot of the guys are really positive at meets for all the other new swimmers and all that. Uh, I would, I will say that the guys tend to goof off a lot more than the girls do at meets or in practices. But 
uh, we, uh, I like to think of that as just, you know, normal team bonding, you know, really getting to know each other. Absolutely. They, you, you're right. Usually the guys are more like the jokesters in practice. Um, sometimes the girls are, but a lot of times it's the guys that like don't realize. And then they realize in January that they're actually like good swimmers. Like for like the first couple months, they just like goof around in the pool and then realize, oh my gosh, we're going to be really good. Um, do you all have, um, so regionals and states is coming up. Is there something special that Winfield High School does, like a special team tradition um, or something that's, that's that's unique to Winfield that uh, would be something interesting to share to everybody? Well, I think it was freshman year at regionals. Uh, I think all the girls and maybe some of the guys wore leggings under their swimsuits when we warmed up just because it creates drag and like makes you feel faster afterwards. So I don't know if that's a tradition, but I just remember doing it. So I love that. Yeah, I think I think everyone should wear leggings at States for uh, uh, for warm ups. I think that should be a, <laughs> that should be a new thing. So both of you have been swimming for a while, um, if I remember correctly. Um, so is there like a fun um, meat story that you guys have um, that you could share with everyone? Is there like like a, a unique something? Maybe uh, it's when you were in club team when you were eight or ten or seven or something. Or is there like some sort of funny, unique story um, that uh, goes along with uh, swimming in any of your meets or even some weird practice story? Um, I think I one me it was when I was younger but I was trying on tech suits because they're kind of like the new thing for me and I didn't know what size I was so I was trying them on and my mom was like okay they're supposed to be super tight so I didn't realize how tight they were when I was putting them on and I just kept thinking okay they're supposed to be tight so I can just get it on like if I just keep inching it up but then I ripped it and then we had to buy it but that was the only, I think that's the only time I've ever ripped um, a text. So they're expensive though. So and your mom, and your mom shoot. in the background is like, oh my God, you just ripped $200. I literally just have to yeah. throw $200 right now. <laughs> I felt very bad about that. <laughs> what about you, Abram? Uh, I, have, I have a few stories that I could share but I'm gonna keep it down to one okay uh this was two years ago at regionals uh so the guys we have this sort of like mini tradition it's really only the guys that do it where we'll all go to like one person's house like you know shave and get ready for regionals but um there were a couple people that couldn't end up going so they had to shave at regionals and the Marshall Aquatic Center so we, uh, we go in there and one of our teammates is like standing there in the mirror. Like he's got like a bit of blood, like running down his arms from where he was like shaving his armpits and he like cut himself. And we were like, like, what are you doing? Like, do you not have shaving cream? And he goes, uh, well, I told somebody to hold on to it and they ended up taking it out of the locker room with them. So I just had to stand here with my armpits and shave them by myself with nothing. And we were like, you could have said something, but we had to swim the rest of the meet with a uh, leading arm fist. So it was kind of funny. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> that's that's amazing. Um, not really amazing because I probably really hurt. Um, <laughs> but um, it was amazing for that. Now, um, now talk to me. You guys uh, – um, both of you uh, probably have gone to the state meet a few times um, in, in your, in your uh, very relatively short uh, high school swimming careers. Um, so what, what do you all most look forward to when you go to states? Is, there, um, is, it, is it like the second day? Is it the parade? Or like what, 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 do, you, what do you all most look forward to whenever um, – if you were to qualify for states, what is it about the states that you most look forward to? Well, this is kind of unswimming related, but after the meet, the whole team usually goes out to eat somewhere and it's really fun and everyone's excited. So that's probably my favorite. What about you, Abram? 
I mean, I'd have to agree with her with uh, going out to eat with the team, but I'd say that my favorite part is just going up to the Milan Aquatic Center because I think it's one of the nicest pools I've ever been in, and I always enjoy going up there. Oh my god, it's super nice. Now, no offense to the old, the old uh, WVU pool, but like the nice, the new one. That's it's it's. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty awesome in, in the inside. Um, I'm very upset. I I actually. Uh, wish that I could just play in the kiddie pool version of that. Have you guys seen the <laughs> the other side where we where you all never go to? It has like the world's best uh, water slides and water buckets. Um, I think uh, I think we should just have the state meet in there. I think that this year the state meet should be like an obstacle course through all of that, and then whoever has the fastest. That's just my opinion. I totally agree with you. It is, um, I think that should just be one event. It's just an obstacle for a swimming pool. Um, so, um, so what are we thinking about? So for championships, uh, or, uh, for championships, is there um, something? Because most of the most of the states sees the regionals and they and and they see all that and they see the states. Um, but for each of the individual championships, do you get just as geared up for the championships? Is it like, because those are the, you're competing against the people you see all the time, usually, because it's like the same, it's like all local, uh, each of the championship meets. Is there something like that, that gets you even more amped up for your championship meet as opposed to your regional and state meet? Um, I don't really know. I just always do my best at whatever meet. So I don't really know, honestly. I kind of say the same thing. I don't really think that our team really minds all like the conferences and small championships as much as like regional states. I gotcha. Now, um, talk to me about um, um, your, the, the people you compete with. Um, um, usually everyone says we're, we're really good friends, but is there like, um, is there like someone that you, um, are most that you love swimming against, um, just because either they're goofy, they do something weird on the blocks or is there, um, talk to me about your relationship with like your competitors that you have. Well, for me, through club swim, I've kind of met a lot of who are on high school teams so like I have good friends on like St. Albans, Hurricane, G-Dub so I'm always excited to see them at me that, that's at least for me because I've done club so now do you uh do you like playfully um like obviously you all are friends you look forward to seeing them on the block but like do you like playfully say like I'm going to get you today or like, or do you, or do you just like ignore them or after the race? Are you like, Hey, I got you today. Or, or do they say like, Hey, I got you today. Is there any, anything like that, that you all, that happens uh, whenever you guys compete? Um, not really. I feel like most of the time everyone just like, good luck. And then at the end, we're just like high-fiving each other. So. What about you, Abram? Uh, well, so, uh, really, the only competitor that I'm good friends with is Bradley Boyd, and uh, there have been a few times where it meets and stuff where I know he's going to beat me at it. Uh, instead of going up to him and saying, like, good luck, I'll just say, good job on that race. I can pretend like we've already had it. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and now for both of you, um, let's, um, I've asked this stumper, this has stumped everybody. Maybe it won't stump you. Um, but, um, if you guys, um, were to be able to dominate a sport that isn't swimming, uh, what sport do you think it would be and why? Um, probably gymnastics, just cause it looks so cool. And it looks so difficult, but I just, I'm always amazed when I watch people do gymnastics. So I'd probably have to say that. Uh, if I were to pick a sport, I would probably choose drag because that was one of the only other sports that I've done multiple times that I really enjoyed doing. Uh, specifically the pole vault event. Oh, uh, I did that back in middle school. 
Yeah, it was a lot of fun. That looks a lot of fun. I would suck so much at it, but it looks so much fun. Yeah, it's it's not really as scary or as like hard as people tend to think it might be. It's really just like all on the core. Yeah, I'd be hitting the bar. Uh, I, I would, I would, I, I, the whole time. That's all I would. That's all I would be doing. But it looks, it looks super fun. I just want to pull vault all the time. Um, I just think that would be just be a, a good way to go. Um, now, both of you, um, you guys have swam a lot of swim sets in your lives. I'm sure. Um, do you have? It could be like favorite in the terms that was super hard. Um, do you guys have like a favorite swim set or favorite swim workout? Um, I typically like kick sets, although I like, I don't like kick sets when I have to do them by myself, but like when I do them with other people, then it makes it 10 times better because I feel like when you kick, it can get easily boring, but if everyone's doing it, then I'd say that's one of my favorites. Now, are you like, really, like you hold the, you hold the kickboard and you're like having the conversation as you're like kicking for like 500, you guys are talking yep. about your day as you're like as you're sweating with the kicks. Yeah, we like social kicking, what we call it, so. <laughs> what about you, Abram? Uh, I'd say that I'd like to do more like the drills and uh, pulls, like those kinds of sets, uh, just because I'm really bad at kicking. So <laughs> it always tires me out really quickly. But for the pulls and drills, I can always do more. That's usually that's usually like a common thing. No one really likes to no one likes to kick. So that's why I was really excited that Maddie likes to kick. But then I realized <laughs> Maddie, I'm not sure if Maddie really likes to kick. I think Maddie just likes the uh, the social kicking. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's you caught me. I did. Uh, <laughs> I won't tell your coach. I promise. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, um, on that note, both of you, I want to thank both of you for coming on. Um, I'm hoping that I will uh, be able to see you guys at the state meet. Um, I think I'm calling it um, again so you can replay it over and laugh at whatever weird words and weird things that I say. Um, but I will also, if I see you on the uh, see you on the pool block, I'll make sure I wave at you. But both of you, <laughs> thanks for coming on. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you for inviting us. Oh, no problem. <laughs>